Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be going over the code for um, for the Sounds Utilities feature. So it's um, an auto-mute system, and you might have seen it with the Anime Bonk Infamous. How could you not see it? But yeah, um, basically, I'm going to be teaching you how you can do this. Um, it has expiring, um, so it expires, and it also has an auto-mute system. So without further ado, I'm just going to teach you how to create the files and um, and actually just explain the code rather than typing it out because that would take the last so the last five times that I recorded this it took 25 minutes and then all of the frames completely crashed. So I'm just going to make this super short. Um, one thing that I'd like to address is someone actually donated a dollar to me. Um, thank you very much. Um, Abungas, I think your name was. Um, thank you. And also, if you could please subscribe, that would be awesome. I am very close to a thousand subscribers. And also, around 97 to 98% of you guys are not subscribed. That's probably mostly from my Carlbot video, but it's, um, it's just still the same, um, statistic. So, let me just delete what I already have here, warninfo.json. So, let's delete that. And I'm going to be just walking you through this entire code um, just to help you understand it. So the paste bin is going to be in the description, it has the entire index, but make sure that you fill in some things like maybe your guild name or maybe some IDs or something. Um, and yeah, that should be it. So, um, so you're going to go over here and if you already have something selected, make sure that you click into this gray area right here so you have nothing selected and just create a new file and call it warn info Dot JSON. If you want to call it something else, then you're going to have to change all of these file names in the code. So I would recommend just calling it warninfo.json. Once you're in here, you have to add these two brackets, or else um, you're going to get a syntax error. And um, other than that, um, the only two things that you have to do t before you paste this code in is to make sure that to require fs. So if I was to go to terminal new terminal and do npm i fs and hit enter because um, that's what you're going to need to do, and then you're going to do const fs with the capital F um, if you want to follow along with the code, and then equals require, and then fs. So this will actually download, I already have it. Um, so yeah. So after that, you should have a client on guild member add. I'm not sure if I already have this in my in my paste bin, but if I don't, it's client on guild member add. This is an event that detects when someone joins the server. And um, we're going to have one parameter, which is member, and we are going to set um, a some some data for their ID and set warns to zero. So once you've done that, basically um, um, it will set um, their warns to zero, and yeah, you should be set. So now let's actually scroll up, and I'm going to explain this code. So um, so how FS works is actually, um, it rewrites JSON files and stores data in it. So it's pretty simple, and, um, yeah, um, I might be going over Mongo soon. That's a bit more difficult, but it has a lot more, um, potential than FS, possibly. So, um, first line, var emoji guild, um, so we're basically defining the guild where our emoji is in. For me, um, it is the infamous test server. So the server right here, and, and as you can see, I actually have the anime bunk emoji that I'm going to be using in here. Um, you also need to make sure that your bot is actually in the guild. Um, my video is probably lagging like crazy, but yeah. So if we go to the info, um, test server, we have anime bunk in there, and yeah. So that's what we're doing there. Then we are actually going to be getting the emoji itself. So we're going to be de defining this. Um, so make sure to put your guild name here and your emoji name here. Okay, once you've done that, this deletes the message once once it detects that um, that there's something in your bad word array that has been used in the message. So, instead of, um, I'm, I think in my paste when I just put like a bad words go here, just put an array of bad words that you don't want people to see. So, let warns, let warns json equal json the parse fs that read file sync, and then um, our file right here, and basically, um, if there is no um, information for this message author ID, so if it doesn't already have it here, then we're just going to set warns to zero. So now once we've set warns to zero, we're actually going to be rewriting it and do we're going to be doing fs.write um, file sync 
And um, yeah, then after that, if if there already is um, data for this user, we're going to be increasing their warns by one because um, they've set a filtered word. And then we're going to be updating it by using fs.writefilesync. So then we're going to make it actually um, expire in 24 hours. So we're going to set a timeout for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, it will actually minimize their warn number by one. So um, then you write file sync again. Now we're going to be using an embed to to send to them to let them know that they've been warned. Var warn embed, um, you've been warned in the, in the guild name that the message was sent in. And um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Then you're going to do try catch error, send the embed to the user. And now this line of code is checking to see if this is a multiple of three. So for example, number dot is integer. Basically, it will return true if the number is say like two or something. Um, and if it was like 0 0.69420, it would return false. So um, it just checks to see if it's a whole number. And if the warns you saw dot warns divided by three is a whole number, that then that means that it's a multiple of three. So for example, if they had four, four divided by three is obviously not um, a whole number, it's a decimal. But say if they had um, nine divided by three, then that means that they have had a multiple of three and they've, um, that they've used, they, that they've gotten an infraction three times since the last time that they've been muted. So then we're going to send them a, oops, what is that? Var mute embed is equal to new discord message embed. And, um, basically this is the embed that we're going to be sending to the user to let them know that they've been muted. So you've been muted here, blah, 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 expires in two hours. So then we're going to be defining our um, mute rule. And make sure to put your mute rule name here. And our user is the person that sent the message. So then we're going to add rules to the person that sent the message. And we're going to add the mute rule to them. And then after that, this is the code that sounds world has, uh, sounds utility, sorry. Um, um, it's just their username. So for example, Joey Bean has been muted after continuous infractions. Um, we're going to set this to red. And then we are going to message.channel to send it. And then after that, in two hours, we're going to set a timeout for two hours. And after two hours, then we will remove the mute rule. So now let's actually test this out. Terminal, new terminal. I've tried um, actually writing this code out, but that took like, like 25 minutes. So it's much easier to explain it. And also my frames are not going to be dying. So um, as you can see, this is basically what it looks like. I've tried it with the tag, but I found that the username looks a bit better. Um, don't mind all this stuff, um, and leaf, I think, was one of mine. So leaf, the server does not tolerate that kind of language, continue to result in a mute. And as you can see, I've gotten a DM saying that I've received a warning. So let's go infamous test server. And let me actually get rid of the mute rule for me, because I actually have that, and to show you that it actually adds it. Leaf, okay, it'll send me another DM with a warning. And then leaf. Okay, and after three, I've uh, gained the mute rule, and um, I've been muted after continuous infractions, and I've gotten two more DMs, one with a warning, and then one with an actual mute. So, um, that's it for the video. Please subscribe. Um, I'm extremely close to um, 1,000 subscribers, and I hope you can help me there. Um, again, thanks to Abungus for the $1 donation, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.